What's up guys, this is Fern here with another tutorial um, which is going to look at making keyframes quicker. So say you get a, um, as like you import an endor endorphin animation in or you've got something with a bunch of keyframes, for example mine, like this, there's, key fr there's a keyframe on every single frame. Um, so if I just open this up a bit and you can see, there we go. Say I wanted to, well, obviously the jog lasts from 0 to 212 frames. If I wanted that to only last for 100 frames, so the jog only, this whole little sequence lasts until 100 frames, all you need to do is, obviously, depends what you're doing, but for this, you're going to need to select everything on the guy. Because it is an, uh, this one was an endorphin animation, um, every little bone has got an animation to it. So what you're going to have to do is just click on Skeleton and you're going to have to click right click uh, you're going to have to right click and click Select Children. But first what you want to do is you just want to like hit click on this little bar just so Cinema 4D knows you're going to work with this and click Control A. Because if you had this selected and you click Control A it will select all this. So make sure you've got you just click down here on, along the timeline click it once and then click control A, it selects all the keyframes from 0 to, or in my case, 220. Um, and then what you want to do, you want right, to click on your skeleton, right click and select children. Now you don't have to do this with everything, uh, sorry not with everything, with, um, with characters. It could be anything, just the speed of keyframes. This is, I'll get to that in a minute. And what you want to do uh, once you've got all of them selected, is just grab the very end, click and hold, and drag, and make sure you click the end. And what it does is, it condenses the quick keyframes in a bit. So if I stop that, the last frame at 100, which is now here, um, it's going to take a bit of time doing it. It may say, not responding. If it does, which it probably will on your computer doing an endorphin animation, um, just leave it. It will be done in, a, say, a minute or something. Um, it depends how what your computer is like. But it looks like mine's done, so click off, and that's fine. Now, if I just go back to minus 10, hopefully I didn't just move them, which I think I just did. I I, I did, actually. I, I did just move them, which is a common error, I guess. So let me just do that again. Okay, so I'm I'm back to uh, let me get it, let me see all the keyframes are back in place. If you ever come across that problem, then what you just want to do is you just want to look and see where it ends. And instead of clicking Control A, just like click here and just drag, just so you get all the keyframes selected and make sure you get the end one. And you can see this little. I don't know how to explain it. You've got like the, the grey box and then you've got like a little box beside it which is like here. That is the box you need to click in order to condense it. So then, once we've got that all set up, we we'll want to right click, select children and click this little box and then drag in and then leave the last frame at 100. And then I'll leave that for a bit until I usually just hover it above the these buttons up here. If they start flashing then you're all good to go. If not then it means it's it's kind of not responding, and you don't want to start clicking around on that, otherwise it'll close and shit. So, yeah, basically, if I just get rid of the camera, actually, on that, camera's still going, isn't it? So, let me just whack up my. There it is, there's the keyframe. If I do the same with this, so. Um, uh, yeah, we'll just hit a keyframe here. I want to make the camera, these three camera keyframes quicker as well. So what I'll do is, when does this one finish? This finishes, oh yeah, it finishes at 100 frames. Select the camera, because this is only just one object, we don't need to select children and shit. It's fine, we can just grab along, grab the little box, and drag until the last frame is at 100. And what it's done is, that has made the whole scene quicker. Looks pretty shit now it's quicker, but... Uh, it has actually made the run and the camera scene fit into 100 frames. So um, I hope 
that made sense. I got a bit confused myself at times. So, um, <laughs> hopefully you'll understand, but it's not hard. What you just basically have to do is just click. Oh, sorry. You need to click on the um, the little lines, not above that. Otherwise, you'll just move along the timeline. But grab along the little lines, click, drag, and it creates a box. Anything between the start and end will select the keyframes and then just click the little box and drag them. And what I'll do is that'll just condense them all in. Um, if that makes sense, but if you have any problems, please message me because this is really confusing to talk about in this in this tutorial. I, I struggled myself. I even made errors. So, um, so yeah, things happen. Please like and comment. Um, if you haven't seen this project yet, the Harry Potter project, it is out now. Um, Harry Potter animation film by Bo Um I'd appreciate it if you can check it out as well. And you just wait for the next tutorials, I guess. If well, I hope you stay. <laughs> I've got a few more. I've got to do um, editing textures and darker textures. Um, so they're going to be coming out. And the dark textures are, um, say you download a model and your textures are way too dark. I'm going to show you how to fix that. And editing textures, say you get a helicopter and you want to add your own own uh, textures on the side, add names and shit. I'll be going through that as well. So they'll be coming out short, uh, shortly. I won't leave them too long, um, obviously still a bit busy but I'll get them done so yeah please like and comment and I'll see you in the next videos peace